we want to find the force in newtons on a rectangular metal plate that is four meters by five meters submerged horizontally in eight meters of water. We're given the water density is a thousand kilograms per meters cubed and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Hydrostatic force, F, is equal to P times A, where P is equal to the constant hydrostatic pressure and A is equal to the area. And P is equal to density times acceleration due to gravity times D, the distance below the surface. So in this case, because the plate is horizontal, the distance below the surface does not change and therefore the pressure is constant and therefore we don't need calculus in order to find the total force. If the plate was vertical, which we'll see in the next example, we will have to use calculus in order to determine the total force. So we'll be using this information given here where we'll be summing increments of force which will give us this integral here. But for this example, again because the plate is horizontal at a fixed depth, we don't need calculus to find the total force. So we'll begin by determining the pressure and then we'll find the force in newtons. So the pressure P is equal to the density of the water which is a thousand kilograms per meters cubed times the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared times the depth or distance below the surface which we're given as eight meters. So this product is 78,400 and the units would be newtons per meters squared. And let's see why these units work out. The units for density was kilograms per meters cubed. The units for gravity, meters per second squared. And the units for D, just meters. Notice here if we simplify out one factor of m, let's simplify this to one and this will become m to the second. The units for a newton is kilogram meters per second squared. So notice how here are the units for newtons. So we're left with newtons per meter squared, which should be area. And now from here we can find the total force on the plate, F, which is equal to P times A, we just found P, 78,400 newtons per meter squared times the area of the plate. Well, four meters times five meters is 20 meters squared. And this product comes out to 1,568,000. And the units would be newtons. Again, this is newtons because the pressure is in newtons per meter squared. The area is in meters squared. So the meters simplify out, leaving us with newtons. So again, in our next example, we'll have to use calculus techniques to find the force in newtons because our plate won't be horizontal. It'll be vertical and therefore the depth will be changing and also the plate won't be rectangular so the strips of area at each depth will also be changing. I hope you found this helpful.